back and forth and I told Layla I was going to take a picture. Of her. This job, so uh, I printed out some shipping labels uh, for uh, Nathan Alvarado, Paul Armstrong, and I think um, Matt Kearney's next. However, I still have to do some more machining for more parts to finish. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. But over the next two weeks, we are going to build, 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 build. We're going to make my favorite barber of all time, Mr. Renard, over at Twins Cutting Up, Webster, Texas. We are going to uh, take his son's 20-year-old OCC Stingray and uh, put an electric motor on it. This will be his first time using anything. So we're going to go ahead and use a simple setup. Probably do 36 volts with either uh, the original Razor Twist Throttle setup or I'll get him a digital voltmeter uh, uh, thumb throttle. That way he doesn't get whiskey drop. We're going to build two Monster Razor MX, I don't know, 3000s, 5000s, 6000s. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know this. They're going to run off of my 1020 motors and they're going to have 14 inch rear wheels. It sounds a little difficult, but if he's not going too fast and if he's got the availability for 6 kilowatts, well, I mean, he can do anything he wants. I, I, at 5 kilowatts, I'm doing 50 miles an hour on the street. That's enough power to get me up pretty much any hill I need to on a 10-inch wheel with a 16-inch wheel diameter. So him going up from, from a 10 to a 14 is only increasing his tire width by only like 2 or 3 inches on the swing arm side, but an overall radius of about 6 inches or so. So that's not going to be too difficult. A little bit of proper gearing. Make sure it tops out and like, you know, high 30s or something like that and i'm sure it'll be plenty plenty for them to go riding it's gonna have a 17 inch front wheel and uh two foot long forks they're gonna be damn near 48 inches long so he's gonna be able to do anything and everything i'm excited to see that we'll see the stingray we'll see twin monsters I've got a QS short arm SX500 that we're going to go ahead and put hydraulic forks on and hydraulic brakes. It'll be great for somebody who wants to buy it to go race at the track. They will smoke all. So, I'm going to build some cool stuff, man. I'm excited for it. Now that I got my boots on, let's start pulling stuff in. My customers, I guess, didn't watch the install videos correctly, but he decided he was going to go ahead and uh, tighten down these triple trees till they were flush. So don't do that, okay? So I'm going to make them another set and send those today with a rotor. That's how awesome this was. This was so awesome that the wheel stopped working. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and clean the wheel, do the thing that I just made a video about, and hopefully bring this wheel back to life because uh, he's already been through one wheel. I don't see a reason why he needs to buy another one if I can do the maintenance and fix that sprag. So uh, keep watching. It's a little low too. Even with the kickstand out, it barely wants to sit. So I... I need to raise the suspension up, otherwise it looks like it wants to collapse on itself and fall over. Crazy. Big wheel, this is a big wheel. This is for our monster razor build that we're gonna do. You remember the 14 front 12 I did? 
that was not enough for quite a few of you. I got five emails within a day after that video of people asking me to go bigger. So Fernando was, I think, my first customer, and then Mayhem was my second one to get 14. So now we're going to go ahead and try to make 14 a regular thing and up the ante. We'll go ahead and put on 17s in the front. This is a tubing notcher that my plasma guy gave me this. Look at that tubing notcher. Gives you the angles right there so you know what your angle needs to be. This foot grabs onto the drill press, which you're standing on. And uh, that's where the drill piece goes on to. So you can put your piece on and cut your notches the way you need to. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you Friday for, for some more parts. Hey, thanks for being in business with me. All right, CJ came up with a design on how to make dropouts. He printed it, drew it all out, gave the blueprints. I saw it yesterday, and um, I bought this so that he could take a good look and get some bright ideas. I now see what it takes to put a, a ATV dirt bike rear brake on instead of having to do all that fancy stuff that we've been doing, you know, for cutting the loop and making sure it fits. I mean, they're literally just getting a piece of slide stamp steel for you to mount your ATV brake on. So I'll have to figure out how to do it on this side of the frame because that's where we do our business, right guys? That's where we get our screeches from. So I'll use this idea to make us a plate for this side and then no more bicycle brakes. I'm not going to build stuff for bicycle brakes anymore. I'm tired of it. I don't care how good a Magura is. They're $300. I'm not interested. We're going to use ATV rears. We're going to use motorcycle fronts. We're going to use real brakes. You boys are moving. You're climbing, you're doing crazy stuff. These bikes were not intended for that. The frames aren't coming apart, so we just keep adding more and more to it. So, ditch the bicycle brakes, guys. Let's use this real stuff, man. I'm all for it. It's cheaper, it's better, it's stronger. It's doing more better for you. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, so what I have to do is build this beautiful bad boy. He is eight years old, and he's already gotten a battery upgrade on this. He's already gone from the standard, what is that, uh, 10 amp hour. Now he's using 15 amp hour batteries. Stock suspension, you see he's already used it quite a bit, but there's only wear on the top edges of the tires. So he's only been like lightly using it on the street. He usually seems like he keeps it on the grass, but it stays clean. So nothing crazy yet. We'll change that. We'll make sure that even dad wants to ride it. So I bought a three kilowatt controller, a Vever two kilowatt kit. And um, I have some batteries. I have a uh, China packs for him, or we're going to go ahead and give him a uh, 15 amp hour orange. He's eight. So 15 amp hour orange on this guy for, what is he, 60 pounds? He's going to apply. The option to do two or three. And uh, we'll, see what we, we'll see what he do, huh? Mm -mm -mm. I have to get on this. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm doing as much as I can, as fast as I can. I still have to ship out. I have to ship out six more gold forks. And I'm done. I mean, I have a couple more left, but I'm not, you know, like in a big hurry to do that. I need to focus on these bikes. My barber has been my barber for over 20 years. I want to give him this gift building this OCC Stingray. So I'm not taking any customers in until I can build his bike. This is easy. I can do that in a day. You know that. So I'm not worried about that. It's the Stingray I'm worried about because there are no kits for it. There's nothing out there. You got to make it all scratch. And I came up with a good idea. I spent a few pesos and I purchased one-way sprags that go on the motor shaft itself. I'm hoping it's gonna work out correct. If it doesn't, I don't know, I'll fab it to go backwards so that it works the wrong way. Either way, I'm gonna use a gas-powered sprocket connector to the back wheel of the factory wheel of the OCC Stingray and then mount up one of these motors. I've got some brand new 650s and some brand new controllers and then there's like a speed mod you can do where you bridge you bridge the, uh, the bus bars and just make it flat and that'll raise up the speed for him. He doesn't need to go fast, but his bike is gonna weigh, you know, probably 20 or 30 pounds more than these bikes do. 
and uh, he's got pedals so he'll be able to go up and down the seawall that's what he wants to do is ride up and down the seawall and if i can keep him at 36 volts well that keeps the battery pack lighter and he'll be able to boogie and i got life po too so that way i can guarantee that place will never catch on fire because uh i love him he's my favorite <laughs> all right well let's get started huh? making logan's rotor and uh you know finish up the job i just bought some new drill hog drill bits so it makes my life easier instead of having to spend you know 10 minutes doing all these dang holes right here taking forever uh, i can do it a heck of a lot faster on these new drill hog drill bits now, i gotta register them before i go ahead and start messing with them but i figure i go ahead and show you guys if you're interested there we go I guarantee it and ship you another one. They already shipped me one because it was my um, 330 seconds drill bit that broke. And it's like the world's tiniest bit. Rotor's done. I got you a new triple tree in here. Use with care. Uh, we got you a front brake. And then I still have to go and buy more bolts. So I can't ship this off today. I don't have enough time. As you told me about it at 1230 at night when I should have been asleep. <laughs> so I'll get you squared away. I'll get you out of here by tomorrow morning. All right. All right, guys, I just did the uh, warranties for the drill drill hogs. It's probably backwards, so I'll just go ahead and reverse it. But I just did the warranty for the, the unit bits that I picked up. They're pretty affordable. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tear them up, see what it takes. I'm not going to overheat the bits. So no destruction challenges. I like keeping stuff alive. I can run four kilowatts on a 25h chain because i don't have a hard start it's a soft start you don't need to haul butt to get somewhere that's cool you guys can do it if you want but i don't need to and i'm still using 25h chains i clean them i do regular maintenance like every i'm gonna say every 60 to 100 miles i clean them with brake cleaner all the way hit them with a torch make sure they're nice and warm wipe them all down hit them with brake cleaner again and then I hit them with uh, chain wax about three times and then throw in some ceramic lube on top of it. And uh, that keeps them going for quite a while. The soft start, again, does not kill the chains. So I'm still getting 48 miles an hour. I just, I'm not getting there as quick as possible. I don't need to wear out all my parts. at her she's naked well that's how she's sitting right now more will come off i'm gonna keep going decided to give the kid an xr70 front fork electro and company uses xr70 forks for the front of their sx's so why shouldn't i get rid of that shock clean the wheel up a little bit more get it all ready put that big motor in there i gotta cut one of the base tabs off and then I'll use the other one to make a small small mount up here to keep the mud off of the motor keep it clean make it look nice all right now that that's done you know me I multitask so I gotta stay busy but uh we're gonna get that one ready I just need the controller now 
Next step is to... I got to cut uh, triple trees, gold, gold triple tree forts and all that bit. So that's the next step. And then cut off some of the ends for these cups. For 